My name is Anthony Nathaniel. And today, in this episode of our Crash Secondary School Mathematics, we'll be dealing with fractions, decimals, percentages, and number bases. So let's delve into the um, topic. Now, a fraction, what's a fraction? A fraction is basically a um, two integers, two integers, a, uh, an upward one and an one. So the upward one is known as a numerator. For example, if you have a over b, a over b is a fraction. And a over b is represented as a the quotient of two in, of two integers integers. Now, well this um a over b is can be converted into a percentage, it can also be converted into um, decimals. For example, like three over five. Let me let me give a table of fractions. Fractions, percentage, and decimal. Okay, imagine. Let me give a fraction three over five, and two over twenty-five. Now, this one. What if we what if we wanted to convert this three over five to percentage? We we'll multiply by 100 so end up you are converting from fractions to percent you multiply by 100 that will be 3 over 5 times 100 percent so 5 in 5 1 5 in 10 2 i mean that that's 0 3 times 20 60 percent so 3 over 5 is also known as 60 percent so what if we were to convert the fraction into a decimal very simple you just keep dividing the numerator by the by the denominator until it, it, it gives you a result of zero or until it gives you a repeating um, number. So let's construct a table, a division table. Now your numerator will be, will be inside that table and your denominator will be outside it. Now you'll be using the denominator to divide the numerator. For example, 5 in 3, that's impossible, right? So add zero and put a corresponding zero at the top of the table and then the dot. That's for the decimal point. Now 5 in 10 is 6, right? 6. So that means 5 times 6 is 30. So at the end of the day, we have remainder. So when you have no remainder, you stop the division and write your answer. So our answer is 0 0.6. As so that's an example of how you convert from fractions to percentage to decimal. Let me give you another example. 2 over 25. If we were to convert this to percentage, you multiply by 100%. That's 2 over 25 times 100%. 25 and 25, 25 in front of that's 4. That would be eight percent, and if we were to convert to um to decimal, to decimal, that would be um we we'll divide two by twenty five. Twenty five, twenty five into not possible. Add zero, add zero, not possible. Zero, twenty five into hundred. That's it. So that would be zero point zero eight in decimal. Now this looks simple, right? Let's move on to another stage. Let's um let's find um. 3 over 4 of 2 hours 24 minutes. So what is 3 over 4 of 2 hours 24 minutes? 3 over 4 is a fraction, right? So what is 3 over 4 of 2 hours? First of all, we should convert that 2 hours to minutes. So 2 hours is um, 120 minutes. That's 120 minutes plus 24 minutes. That's the meaning of 2 hours 24 minutes. 120 minutes plus 24 minutes. That's, that would give us 3 over 4. In mathematics, all of means times. 120 plus 24 is 144. So in essence, we are, compute, we are, we are computing 3 over 4 of 144. So well, let's divide 4, 4 in 4, 1, 4 in 14, that's 4 times 3, 12, remain, remains 2. Move the 2 to the unit place value. And then 4 in 24 is um, 6. So that's 36 times 3 is 108. 108 words, 108 minutes. So whenever you are converting from minutes to hours, you divide by 60, but when you are converting from hours to minutes, you multiply. So in essence, you can just take it shortly as this. Whenever you are converting into a bigger uh, um, unit, you multiply. But whenever you, are oh, sorry, whenever you are converting a big unit, when you are converting from minutes to hours, if you are converting into a big unit, you divide. That means if you are converting a small unit, you divide but then if you are converting a big unit you multiply that's just a trick 
Now moving on, we have um, we have other examples, but then let's move on to number systems. Number systems, and this we have to talk about the bases. We have base one, base two. Sorry, yes, base two. No base one actually. We have base two, base three, base four, base five, base six, base seven. And in our computers, we make use of mostly um, base two, base um, sixteen, base eight, and base ten. Now. I promise in, in, in another series of this channel, I will be posting videos on digital electronics. So then we'll talk about how um, digital electronics works and how the, uh, the numbering system in computers work. But then in today in mathematics, we'll just be dealing with the base 2 numbering system. So base 2 numbering system is the numbering system that has only two um, absolute values, 0 and 1. So whenever you are converting from a base 2 to a base 10 you multiply each of the values each of the um the face values with their with the um with the base raised to the power of their place value so what i mean is that if you have a number one in base two and you're and you're converting to base base um to another base for example to decimal or base 10 you multiply that face value one by the base the base is two right two raised to the power of the face value the face value will be zero that's 3 to the power 0. So I'm applying 1 times 3 to the power 0 and so on and so forth. So 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. That would be 1 times 1, 1. So that's an example of conversion. Let me give a question. What if we were to convert 1 and 10, 110.11 base 2 into base 10? So let's do that. So 110.11 base 2. We are converting into base 10. So what we do is this. You basically write the um, place value of each of the um, digits you can see. So starting from the number immediately um, to the immediately to the left of the decimal point. So this decimal point, the number immediately to the left will be given a place value of zero. So the number next to it will be given a place value of one. Then the ne one next is two. So any number to the right of your decimal place in any place value in any um, base you are in mathematics. Any base you, any number to the right of your decimal place always has a negative place value. This one we have a, a power of minus one. This one, place value of minus two. So then we'll begin to multiply the face value multiplied by the base raised to the power of the place value. So again, we'll multiply the face value by the base raised to the power of the face value. Sorry, of the place value. So, for example, from this one, starting from here, we multiply one. The face value of as a place face value of one multiplied by, and we are dealing with base two. Two raised to the power of the the place value is two. So two raised power two. Going to the next one, that will be plus. The next one is the next one has a face value of one times two raised to the power of one. The next one, the next digit has a face value of two. Sorry, has a face value of zero times two raised to the power of zero. Plus the next one, 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 2. So 1 times 3 raised to the power 3 is that's 4 plus 1 times 3 raised to the power 1 that's 2. Well, 0 times 3 raised to the power 0 is 0. Anything multiplied by 0 gives 0. Plus 1 times 3 raised to the power minus 1 is 1 over 2. Then 1 times 3 raised to the power minus 2 is 1 over 4. So everything we give 4 plus 2 that's 6. Plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 will make use of LCM. So the lowest common multiple of this um, 2 is um, 4. So 2 in 4 is 2. 2 in times 2, that's 2. 4 in 4, 1. 1 times 1 plus 1. So we have 6 whole number and 3 over 4 fraction. So that would also mean 6 point seventy five in base ten. So if we are converting to base ten it will be six whole number three over four base ten or six point seventy five base ten. So that is an example of what you can convert into base ten. So I'll give you a class work kind of like an exercise you should try out maybe at your leisure time. Maybe you should try one zero one one point one one one. So can you convert this to base ten? One zero one one point one 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 so see if you can try it. I will also solve it in the next video of this um, course. So thank you for watching.